So, uh, talking about security, if you're talking about security, so we have a separate component, separate component, that is security component, to maintain all users, to maintain all users and the privileges. To maintain all users and privileges. Here, we can create a user here, we can create a user, new user, then we can assign privileges, we can assign privileges through profiles or object base. So, that is, normally if you are talking about a database level, we have a role, we have a database role. So, what we will do, the set of privileges we will assign to the role, the role is usable for like we can reuse for any users to assign that privileges. So that is a reusable concept. So later if you want to remove privileges, it is very easily, you can remove that role automatically, you can roll back all the privileges, whatever the user has. It. If you are going for individual privileges, what will happen? If you want to go for editing, editing means what are the users available, so what are the active users, so what are the privileges they are having? It is very difficult to track individual user. Okay, if you are going for individual privileges, that is called objective privileges. That is called objective privileges. So, if you create one role, you can assign all the privileges to that role, then you can use that role to any user. If you want to give any new person, you can assign that role, so whatever the role is having, privileges, the user will get all the privileges. Later, if you want to know what the user privilege is having, you can see that role. If the role is having all the privileges, user automatically will get all the privileges. Later, if you want to remove the privileges, that is rollbacking, you can roll back privileges directly, removing that role. So, that is very user friendly if you are going by, if you are going for role based privileges. Same concept, they are implemented in ODA. Same da database level concept, they are implemented in ODA. One role is nothing but your profile. One role is nothing but your profile. The profile having list of some privileges. Profile having some list of profiles. Object privileges. Mm -hmm. So, they are providing some list of profiles in security. They are providing some list of profiles in security. You can create your new profile. You can create your new profile or you can use existing profiles. So, first, before going to profile, first we will uh, uh, start with users like uh, how how to create a new user, how to create a new user, then how it is storing all the passwords at the DB level and what are the types of users. So this is the basic things first we should know that we are going to check. Uh, we are going for your privileges. So first we need to understand how to create a new user, how to create a new user, then we can go first. See here, there is a option called symbol person new. Go to your security, go to your security, go to user staff, then click on new. Here, creating a new user. Here, there is an option called creating new users. So, click on here, click on new user. Click on Okay. So default user, that is installation user, administrator user you will get, administrator user you will get, that is called supervisor, that is called supervisor. Default user, administrator user is nothing but supervisor. If you want to create a new user, you can click on here and click on new user. So it will open a window for creating a new user. There we need to provide username and password. So there is another option for account expired and the supervisor privilege. Account expired and supervisor privilege. Account expired is nothing but if any person joining into the project, they are temporary, maybe six months contract or three months contract or one year contract. So what we will do, mm -hmm. we will create a user and we will give privileges and then that account expert will select for particular mm -hmm. date, depending on their contract period. Once it reach the date, automatically account will expire, the user cannot log in to the ODA. So, if you set particular date and time, once it the reach the time, it so automatically the user account will expire, but the user cannot log in. It will show error message, account expire, please contact administrator, please contact 
administrator. So this is called allow expired. And the one more option is called normally uh, any project there is a developers and administrator. So default user is supervisor. So that is not shareable for all the administrators. Right? So what we will do if the two or three people are working as administrators, we will create a user for the same for their name. Then we will assign as a supervisor. We will assign as a supervisor. So that user also will act as a supervisor privileges. Okay. Normally one we have only one supervisor. That is this supervisor. But if you want to grant the privileges for some other people who are working in the project, some other people who are working in the project as a admin privileges. So what we can do? Simply we can select. Simply we can select supervised privileges. So this is option for supervisor. If we select this option, that user we will get all supervisor privileges. All supervisor privileges. So this option we are going for account expert. This option we are going for account expert. So there are some people who are joining into the project. They are only for contract to hire. So maybe they are work, uh, they they will work next three months or next thing, six months. So depending on the requirement, you have to select account expired, particular date and time. So once it reaches the time, it will automatically expire. And that as you, okay. if, if they will try to log into the account, it will say error message account got expired. Please contact administrator. So this is here we will provide username. Here we will provide username. Then if you click on enter password, again you will get additional option. See here. I'm giving one name. Then password. Click on enter password. Mm -hmm. Here you need to provide new password and confirm password. New password. Mm -hmm. Confirm password. I'm giving welcome, welcome. Then password expire again. Password expire again. So if you want to set password expire, you can set this password expire. Okay. So this is username and password. Then account expire. I'm selecting account expire as a two days date. Maybe next one hour I'm setting. Okay. Twenty. Nine twenty a.m. I'm selecting. Save this user. Click on save button. If you open multiple windows, if you open multiple windows. There is an option called save all windows. If you are in okay. current window, you can save only current window. This is called control S single window saving. If you have multiple windows if you have open, for example, you are creating the three are users like there are multiple windows you open. So that time if you want to save all windows at a time, there is an option called saving all open windows. Okay? Okay. Is save all. So current window, if you want to save, this is the button current window. If, you have, if any current window, you can save it. Currently, there is no changes in this window, so that's why you can't see this. It's visible. Yeah. If, you, if you try to type something, so it will say that save button option. Okay. okay. So this is the saving options you can see. Multiple windows you can save. And a single window you can save. So you have created new user with the supervisor privileges with supervisor privileges next i'm going to log in this user i'm opening your other client i'm going to open mm -hmm. another client give me seconds See, if I try to log in with this new user, so mm -hmm. click on connect to repository. So already login is available. Mm -hmm. You can change only password or you can create a new login. You can create a new login. See here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to create new login. Username is lucky. Password welcome. Then database user that is common same master party. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so Oracle database. So here I need to provide my the database details where I have created master password local host. One five two one was. So I'm selecting what three past is. I'm logging as a another user. See here, okay. I'm able to login. I'm able to login. See, I can. See other all options is available. I have all the privileges see here. New privileges, create and delete, view, mm -hmm. import, export. So supervisor means this user also act as a supervisor, having all privileges. Mm -hmm. If you go to any other components, right click, mm -hmm. you can see there is a delete, new, okay, import. Mm -hmm. export. Okay. You have all privileges. So that is mm -hmm. default. You will get a supervisor. Privileges. If you assign this as a supervisor, okay. Yeah. Then, once it reaches a particular time, for example, we set a nine twenty twenty five a.m. So, yeah. Once it reaches a particular time, if you try to log in that user, it will throw that error. Account already expired. Please contact administrator. We'll wait uh, some more seconds. Then we will try to log in. Okay. So, see here, it is disabled. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah. See, uh, account expert user it will show like this. Okay. This account got expired. You have to extend this. Only again, administrator only they can log in, and they can extend this. Way. Okay. If you extend automatically, it will get there. Okay. Now I'm trying to log in with that user. What will show exactly? See, see, it is saying that the user, the username has account expired. Please contact your administrator. So this is mm -hmm. error message to show. If you click on details tab, you can see exact error message. That is mm -hmm. here. Our uh, ODA error number. This is your ODA error number. Okay. This is exact error message related to standard error number error message. But here you can see okay. high level. Okay. Only user understanding. This is a technical thing. Exact ODA error code and error number. Same thing, Oracle, every tool, or if you are going for programming language, people will be able to So you can see standard error number and error message, right? Okay. The same thing here, ODA, error number and ODA error message. So now, login as a con administrator. So administrator, that is supervisor, need to be enabled. Now, what I am doing, I am extending to tomorrow. Okay. If I save mm -hmm. this one, see automatically it is extended. See okay. now, if I try to log in with the again that new user. Okay. See so this user is able to log in. If you want to know the which user is logging, go to menu, repository connection information, repository connection information. There you can see your username and master repository, mm -hmm. password password together. So you can see which user you have login, which user you have login, what is the master repository, what is the master repository, and what is your work repository. So all the information you can see. Work repository, master repository, we can go in topology itself, but if you want to the complete credentials like a database post and everything, go to menu, mm -hmm. go to menu ODA, 
repository connection okay. information. So there you can find okay. the exact information related to transfer information. So here go to menu ODI repository connection information. Okay. Then if you want to change your password, normally what we will do for once we create and use this, we will give a default password. For example, you are working in some company. So you are working in HCL, what we will do? We will give a HCL at the rate. 1, 2, 3, 4 will be password for every user. But that is a common password for everyone. So what user need to do? Once they log into the first time, they need to change their password. Why? Because so other users also have the same password. So they can log yeah. in with the, this, your user and they can, they can delete from with your user, right? So what you have to do? You have to change this password. So how to change the password after login to ODI? How to change the password means go to menu ODI then click on change password. Click on change password. It will ask for current password and new password. It will ask for current password and new password. So this is the screen for changing current user. Changing whatever you have logged in. Okay. So this is related to security thing. That is creating user. Creating user. Okay. Then this is part of creating users. This is the only one very simple for creating users for client level, right? Client level. If you are going for some authentication like LDAP authentication or some uh, single sign on uh, whatever it is. So that time that authentication is different. So that you will import uh, all the users to your directory, whatever you have active directory. From active directory you will import to particular database. That is you have to change your authentication mode. So while creating your repository, that time I will show right I show one option, one more option. So I'm going for external authentication. Okay. So external authentication means through middleware. So middleware there you will create all the same OBA. OBA what you will do? Ten G you are creating users at RPD level. But eleven G it's not like that. Eleven G is entirely at middleware level. So middleware means yeah. where you have a, a complete web logic server. So there you will create all the users or maybe you can integrate the LDAP uh, Active Directory or maybe some other third party integration tool. So you, you will integrate all the users bulk integration. For example, in your project there are thousand people are working. So all thousand people you will import on the, at middleware level that all users will affect in particular OBI or ODA level. Same concept. So whatever you are creating an enterprise manager that is EM console everything will be applicable into ODI and OBI because it is a, applicable at domain level, right? So same thing, whenever you are creating your master repository, that's credentials to that. If you are going for middleware, you need to select option called external authentication. External authentication, okay? That is storing it middleware. So currently we are using local authentication, standalone authentication, that is standalone Authentication. This is at only ODI level. Currently, it is not at middleware level. Then, so this is the way we can go for creating new user. Okay. If you want to create a new user without a supervisor, simply you can ignore this option. Simply, you can mm -hmm. ignore yeah. this option. You can create a new user. Then, password. Mm -hmm. You can give password expire password expire so we have one more option called we can set password expire okay so this you can share this user so i have created one more user then i'm not giving any privileges i'm not giving any privileges it is a new user if you extend this profiles currently there is no profiles Objects currently okay. there is no objects. Then if you try to log in this user, see here. So I'm logging with new user. So you can log in. So you have a authentication, but you don't have an authorization. You have authentication, okay. but you don't have authorization. You know, right? Authentication and authorization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So authentication means only username and password is required. Authorization means 
you need a privilege you need a privilege yeah. okay? so that is you have authentication but you don't have a authentication currently you can't see anything in security if you go security you can't see anything okay? if you go topology you can't see anything okay. in general also you don't have any other privileges like create or delete anything so first time when you create a new user that user will create as mp without any mm. privileges without any privileges then next step is giving privileges this is the only way creating users here okay stand alone then how to assign privileges how to assign privileges that privileges we can go for through profile you can go for through profile so before going to profile mm. first we need to understand what is a profile what is a profile and the types of profile mm -hmm. available in ODA. Okay? Okay. So, so this is the steps for ODA security. So here we have an option called creating a new profile. Here this is creating a new profile. Mm -hmm. So this is list of objects available in ODA. This is list of objects available in ODA. So creating new profile or importing new profile. So So this is the profile type. Okay. This is the profile type. In ODA, there are two types of profiles. In ODA, there are two types of profiles. One is generic profile, other one is non-generic profile. One is generic profile, another one is non-generic profile. So what is exactly generic profile? What is exactly non-generic? Generic profiles mean if any profile, if any profile having all default granted privileges, all default granted privileges, that profile we can say generic profile. That profile we can say generic profile. If any profile having all default grant privileges, all default grant privileges, that profile we can say generic profile. What is non-generic? Mm -hmm. Non-generic means the profile will be there but grant privileges won't be there. The profile will be there, mm -hmm. but grant privileges won't be there. So, we can grant privileges, we can grant privileges based on our requirement only selected objects. Only selected okay. objects. That is called customizing. For example, there is one profile, the profile having all privileges. Okay. If you assign that profile to any user, the user will get all privilege whatever the profile you have right but I don't need to assign all the privileges to my user I need to assign only some specific privileges so what we have to do we have to go for new profile right so mm -hmm. in case of going for new profile you can go for non generic profile and you can give whatever required privilege you can use only required privileges see here non generic means are not default authorized for all methods of instance object. So privileges won't be their default. So administrator must be grant the user a right on the method for each instance. Means we can grant privileges based on our requirement for that profile. Okay? That is called customizing the profile. Okay. Generic profile means that profile is having all privileges. That profile is having all privileges. So all privileges means for example, I don't need all privileges. I need to assign only some privileges. So that time what we can do, we, we, we can't go for generic profile. We can't go for generic profile. We'll go for non-generic profile and we'll assign only specific privileges, that is required privileges. Then we'll assign that profile to the others. That is called customization. Customization means mm -hmm. only selected privileges we will assign. So that is called profiles. Generic profile and non-generic profile. 
same thing if you go to India. basically they are using only uh, generic profile or non generic anywhere uh, i mean anyone depending on the requirement the yeah depending on the requirement we can go for that most probability not like that depending on the requirement i okay. can go for generic sometimes i can go for non generic sometimes okay. this is the non generic they are giving ng ng means non generic okay okay Engineers, non-generic, they are generic. Remaining all are generic profile. So first we will talk yeah, about how many types of uh, privileges for non-generic profile? What type no. of privileges they are saying? No, uh, non-generic profile privilege won't be there anything. We need to grant all privileges based on the requirement. Yeah, uh, what type of uh, uh, need to be granted for the non-generic profile? Like uh, select or delete? Uh, no, that is, if you want to go for only select, you can give only view privileges. If you want to give uh create delete alter so all these privileges you can see that is your requirement okay. right non generic okay. is nothing but your requirement mm -hmm. okay yeah so non generic is nothing but for example if you assign generic token the user will get all privileges but i don't need all the privileges to that user that user need only some view privileges or something so what you can do mm -hmm. we will in place of non -gen generic we will go for non generic and we will give privileges. So I will show that how to make it non generic to generic. I will tell you. Okay. Okay. First we will uh, uh, continue with the generic profile. Okay. First we will continue with generic profiles and type. First we will continue with generic profiles and type. So, so this is built in profiles available. Same concept if you go to security, connect, designer. This is our generic profile. This is our generic profile. So first okay. connect. First connect. Connect is a basic profile to connect repository. To connect your master and work repository. To connect your master and work repository. That is read only. Read only privileges. Okay. So okay. these profiles are default profiles or uh, you are created by this? No, no, this is, uh, you will get the default from Oracle. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, see currently this user don't have any privilege, see here. You cannot connect mm -hmm. also, you cannot connect any technology. Nothing. Mm -hmm. This you can log in but you don't have any privilege. So connect is a profile, okay. connect is a profile for only read only privilege, that is view privileges. View privileges. Okay. And selecting and I'm assigning to new user. See here, drag and drop. How to assign a profile name? Select and drag and drop. Okay. Okay. Select and drag and drop. It will ask confirmation. Yes. See okay. here. And again, I'm deleting. Again, I will show how to assign a profile. Select your profile, then drag and drop uh -huh. to your new user. Which user you want to assign? Yeah. To the, uh, yeah. To the, uh, Okay. I'm assigning this user. Drag and drop. Okay. Then mm -hmm. while drag and dropping, it will ask the confirmation. You have to. Okay. We are planning mm -hmm. to grant this profile to this user. Yes, I'm there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Profile is assigned this user. Okay. Then go to another client and check the privileges. So I'm disconnecting again. Again, I'm connecting with the name okay. see? Now you can see this technologies. Earlier you don't okay. have privileges, right? Now we have privileges only view privileges. Okay? Yeah. Only view privileges. If you go to repositories, whatever you have repositories you can see and view privileges. Okay. okay. So this connect profile we are using for this connect profile we are using for to connect a repository that is topology object, mainly a topology object. So this is the list of objects you can see. Work repository, users, mm -hmm. technology, schemas, master repository, mm -hmm. these are objects you can access. Okay? Agent you can access, context you can access, data servers. Yeah, again, uh, markers, master repository, mm -hmm. physical schema, okay. technology. The technology is something, this is the object technology. Okay. okay. This is the users. 
this is the object. Mm -hmm. So that is read only privileges you will get. Okay. Read only privileges. See here. You can view only. You cannot delete. Okay. You cannot create new user. Mm -hmm. Okay. But profiles you don't have. Only users and objects and technologies, the agents, see, that records that is master records and what records. This is the object. Okay. So that objects you can see here. So this is a list of objects having connect profile. Okay. If you want to go for privileges, there is only view privileges. You can see only mm -hmm. view privileges. Okay. Okay. User also only. So connect is a profile. Connect is a profile. We are using for only read only privileges. We are using only for read only privileges to connect to connect profiles in security. Component, topology, security component. So this is so basic thing about connect profile. Connect. Then the next one is we we'll talk with security. There is one more profile called security admin. Security admin we are using for this profile having this profile having entire privileges for entire privileges for security component. Okay. If you assign this profile to any user, that user will get all privileges. If you assign mm -hmm. this profile to any user, that user will get all privileges for security component. For security component. Okay. okay. Now, yeah. if I assign this profile to my any new user, so that user will get all privileges related to security. So how to assign? Okay. Select your profile and drag and drop to new user. Okay. Yes, click on yes. I'm granting. Okay. See, the profile is assigned. Then, currently, we need to uh, relog in again, right? Because the changes need to be affected after relogging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Changes will affect after relogging. It will affect. And login as a Raju. So, actually, we set an expired password for this user. Yeah, see, yeah. 9:20 not. Here we set the expired password. 9:45. Now you can see time is 9:40. One. So account password expired. It is asking to change the password. See? Okay. See, replace the expired password. Okay. So now I'm trying to log in. So I change the password, okay? Then mm -hmm. I have assigned a security, have assigned a security profile. Have assigned a okay. security profile to this user. See here, security admin. Security admin having this profile having all privileges related to security component. Related to security component. See here, this is your user having security profile. Now we log in as a security, sorry, we log in as a repository, the same user. Now this user having all privileges related to profile, you can create a new profile, see, you can create a new profile, okay. see, profile is created. Okay. You can delete a profile. Then this user can create a new user. Okay. This user can create a user. So I'm creating new user test. Mm -hmm. Test one two three. See, it is created new user. Test. So like this, this user also having all privileges related to security. Related to security. Mm -hmm. So that is called security profile.
So designer also one of the profile, right? Yeah, the, I will I will explain one by one. Okay. Okay. So this is security admin. Next topology admin. Next topology admin. So this profile having all privileges. This profile having all privileges related to topology. This profile are having all privileges related to topology. Topology. Mm -hmm. So this profile having all privileges related to topology mm -hmm. component. If you assign this profile to any user, that user will get all privileges related to topology component. So how to assign profile means select drag and drop to this user. Okay. okay. So if you drag and drop this profile to the new user, that user will get all uh, privileges related to topology component. So I am assigning that to okay. I'm assigning select drag and drop to new user. Click on yes, granting, see it is selected. Now go to another client and try to validate the privileges and disconnecting, connecting it. I'm connecting with a new user and I will validate in topology. See here, go to topology, right click on this, you have all privileges, you have a new, you have a delete, you have every privilege. See here, earlier you have only view privileges. Then we assign as a, we assign as a topology admin profile. The topology admin having all privileges or topology component. Okay, see here, you have all privileges, new context new languages new reports we can we can create new reports we can delete reports this all privileges so that is topology component next component operator next component operator so operator before going to operator we will validate with designer we will check designer so this is designer. Designer is a profile. Designer is a profile to add having all privileges for designer component except okay. two models. Designer is a profile having mm -hmm. all privileges related to designer component related to designer component except two objects privileges except two object privileges. The two objects is mm -hmm. Models and solutions. Designer profile, designer profile don't have a access for design profile, don't have a access for models, models. and solutions. Models Model and solutions. Solution. If you want to access models, if you want to access models, you need one more profile called metadata admin. Metadata okay. Okay. admin. Metadata admin. If you want to access the solution, you need one more profile called version admin. You mm -hmm. need one more profile called version admin. Okay. So, if you want to access the entire designer, if you want to access the entire designer, you need mm -hmm. three profiles. One is okay. designer, one is designer. Another one is metadata admin, another one is metadata admin, another mm -hmm. one is version admin. Another one is okay. version admin. Version. admin. See, designer profile having all privileges related to designer component except models and solution. So if you want to access solution, you need one more profile called version admin. If you want to access model, okay. you need one more profile for metadata admin. So go okay. to your security. Go to your security. You can see designer is one profile, metadata admin is a profile, version admin is a profile. These three profiles okay. we are using for to access. We are using for to access complete designer. complete designer. So this is for solution. This is for solution. This is for 
model. Metadata admin for models. So complete mm -hmm. design admin, you need it. one profile designer, metadata admin and version admin. Okay, first I will show you one by one. I will show you one by one. I am going to assign first designer. I am going to assign first designer profile to my user. Yes. See, designer is assigned. Go to work. Currently, this user don't have any privilege. See here. Then I am trying to log in, re-log in with this user. See, I have a project creation, but models I don't have. See here, models I don't have. And the other okay. load plans I have, load plans mm -hmm. I have. Okay. And the global objects also have. I can create a variable, all these things. But I don't have a solution. Okay. See here, I don't have a solution. I don't have a solution. I don't have a models okay. models I don't have privileges solution mm -hmm. I don't have privileges now if I assign if I assign metadata admin so that is for model if I assign metadata admin to my new user yes I am assigning I have assigned metadata admin so go to new user and then try to re-log in this Re-login this. After login only, it will affect the new changes. Okay. See here, models have a privileges. Okay. I can create a new model. You can see. Then solution. Solutions you don't have because you need one more profile for version admin. You need one more profile for yes version admin. Yes. Then again, I am assigning this profile to. Yes, I'm granting this. What's not me also I have assigned. Now try to re-log in this user again. Again I'm re-logging this. So go to solution. Here you can see we have a solution. Okay. If you want to access complete designer, you need a three profile. Mm -hmm. You need a three profile. Mm -hmm. Designer, metadata admin, watch mm -hmm. okay? okay? So we have only one pending is operator. So operator is only one operator. So operator one more profile is available. That is using for to access operator component. Okay? So one more profile called operator this profile having all privileges related to operator component related to okay. operator component. Mm -hmm. so only designer only having three profiles remaining other components only one one profile security okay. only one profile topology only one profile designer having three profiles designer having three profiles that is designer metadata admin or snap Security only one one profile security admin topology security. Topology, topology admin but operator also only one profile that is operator operator so yeah. this is all our generic profile this four are non generic profiles this four are non generic profiles I will explain you that yeah. then one more is called a repository explorer this is we are using for okay. ODA control this is we are using for ODA Control access. Okay. We have one more component okay. ODA control I told you right. Browser based access. Okay. Oh yeah. Browser. Okay. Browser based access. So that is if you want to access that we need a one more profile called repository explorer. Repository explorer we are using first to access ODA console. So this is for list of profiles. This is the list of profiles. Okay. So operator, you can assign operator. Then repository explorer we are using for ODA control. This profile is required to okay. access ODA control. So 12C, the name got changed. This name 
12C, this name got changed as a Korea console. Okay. 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 So 11G and 10G, you can find the repository explorer, but 12C, mm. they change this name as ODA console. Directly they are giving name called ODA console, but 11G and 10G, you can find name called a repository explorer. It's nothing but to access your ODA console. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the list of generic profile. This is the list of generic profile. Then if you're talking about non-generic profile, Mm -hmm. If you're talking about non-generic profiles, these profiles don't have any default granted features. These profiles don't have any granted features. How to delete a profile? Okay. Simply go to your user and right click and delete profiles. Okay. okay. I'm deleting profiles. How to remove privileges? Thing? Whatever user having profile, you can roll back. Mm -hmm. so you can yeah, you can remove directly on this right click and okay now if I assign non-generic profile for example if I assign ng designer I'm going to assign this to new user I'm granted okay. I have assigned ng designer so go to login oh. Relogging that user will validate that. Mm -hmm. I'm relogging with non-generic profile. Okay. Okay. So non-generic designer. Currently, you have only project privileges. You don't have any other privileges. See? Solutions you don't have because designer having only except models and solutions, right? Okay. Okay. So, if you want to access models, you need a metadata admin. If you want to access solutions, you need one more profile for version admin. Okay. See here. Okay. I'm creating a new project. While saving, you are getting one error. You don't have any privileges. Okay. You're not authorized to view the object. That is nothing but privileges issue only. Okay. But why it is showing to create the new profile, uh, new projects? So you can check global. Uh, you can check models. There is no um, options to create a models. Uh, load no. plans. There is no options to create the models. No, no. no. We assign the no NG designer. Mm -hmm. I'm not assigned the NG metadata admin. I'm not assigned NG designer. Have assigned only. NG designer, non generic. If you assign okay. metadata admin, you will get that privileges. If you assign version admin, you will get that privileges. Okay. But non generic profile don't have any default granted privileges. See here. This is my non generic profile, right? If I go to my interface, this is all the privileges. Delete, trunk, all duplicate, okay. create new. If I open this, what will happen? It is not selected. See here, privilege is not selected. Okay. What is the difference of generic and non-generic? This is only different. If I go to my generic profile, see here, if I go to generic, this is my generic. It is selected. Non-generic means it is not selected. Generic means it is selected. That's why I told you. Generic profile means all privileges are selected default. This is all selected default. Okay. This is called generic. Non-generic means this is my non-generic. Okay. This is yeah. So manually can we assign, can you select the generic privileges? Yeah that's why, that's why I told you. If you have a custom requirement okay. you can select all the required privileges okay. and you can use that. That is called okay, customized profile. Customized okay. profile. That's why I told you. Generic profiles having okay. all privileges. Non-generic profiles okay. are not default authorized. So this profile don't have any default grant privileges. The administrator okay. must grant the manually, yeah, uh, yeah. manually grant based on the requirement. That is called customized profile. Okay. So that's okay. why I told you. So regarding this, if you need all privileges, you can go for generic profile. If you don't need all privileges, okay. you can go for non-generic profile. Okay.
if you don't need all designer for example if i assign designer what will happen all privileges user will get right i don't need all delete and all edit and all this thing i i need only create and view privilege that is new and edit view mm -hmm. i don't want to assign edit duplicate delete so that time what we can do we have to go for non generic we have to go for mm -hmm. non generic and go to particular object only we will select new and edit mm -hmm. we will select this edit and save Okay, and no, oh, yeah. So, yeah. so we selected only new and new. So we not selected other activities. Same thing if we go for project also. Mm -hmm. So this is the project, right? Project also we have privileges. So many privileges. Here. I'm giving new and new. Uh, if you want to close all, right click, close all. Okay. Now, I'm going to assign. I'm going to assign. Okay. So already assigned. So now this is then connect profile also is required. Basic. This is the basic profile. Okay. Connect oh. is the basic profile. Okay. Connect is required for every user to connect basic thing. Okay. Okay. Then, if I if I re-log in again, if I re-log in again, you have a project privileges. I'm going to see. It is saved. It is not throwing any error. Okay. You got it? Yeah. yeah. So earlier we don't have a connect profile and we not granted privileges. Now we granted privileges only view and select view and new. Okay. okay. So this profile, this profile, okay. we assign only two privileges. That is project. Only new and the view, new and okay. new. See, new also have it, view also have it. And okay. we assign one more profile called connect. Connect is a basic profile is required to connect to the repository. Okay. Okay. So this is called security. So you can create an if you want to create a new profile. If you want to create a new profile, you can create new profile that is click on here new profile okay so depending on the requirement for example so I have created new project see here currently this project mm -hmm. this profile don't have any object so this okay. list of available objects in ODA see here Okay. So you can select and drag and drop okay. to your profile. Okay. So, so you can select the required thing. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to assign user. Mm -hmm. User. A repository. Or okay. maybe profiles also you want to assign. What repository you so required so this is the list of uh, default yeah. list of objects, right? For every yeah. profile? Yeah, this is a list of objects available in Wordgate. Oh, okay. Then, how to grant privileges? So, go to your each object, there are privileges available, you can see. You can go to that privileges and you can select on the required thing. Okay. I want to edit privileges, new privileges, delete privileges. So agent I have provided create new edit and delete. So same thing user also. Mm -hmm. User also edit delete mm -hmm. new. Okay. Same thing work repository. Work repository that is connection. Okay. 
view is nothing but I'm saving all and closing all this. Okay. See, currently this Ragu user having only one profile, right? Yeah. That is designer, non connect and non generic designer. See, this mm -hmm. Ragu don't have a security. See here, don't have a user new user privilege. Okay. Only view privileges is there. View. Again, yeah. topology also only agents. Well, we also you don't have because we not created any agent, so that's why you can't you cannot create new agent. But if I try to relog in after changes, okay? So I'm going to append this new profile. This new profile having user and the e agent, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm assigning to this new user. Then I have assigned this profile go to mm. login with new user and validate that okay see now agent you have privileges oh yeah earlier you don't have right then security Only security me. you have a users new user so that is this profile we assign agent and user see here agent and user we assign okay Okay. So we are not assigned profile. So profile, if you, if you want to profile also, you can assign profile. If you assign profile object to this, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is and grant the privileges. View privileges. View privileges. Okay. New privileges. Okay. <coughs> Save us. Close us. So profile already assigned here. See? So that profile are we? This is the object. The agents. Okay. Profile is on users. So after changes, if you want to see this, again you need to relog in this one. Okay? Okay. If you relog in, you can access profile also. See here, profiles also you are able to access. Yeah. Profiles you don't have a delete privileges and a duplicate. Okay. Yeah. But you have a new and a data. Okay. Okay. So this is for profiles, users, and objects. So are you clear with this? Yeah, yeah. So this is very simple security in mm -hmm. We can create a new users, then we can create a new profiles, or we can use existing profiles. There are generic profiles and non-generic profiles. Generic profiles mean it is having all privileges default. Non-generic profiles, profile will be there, objects will be there, but privileges won't be there. So privileges we need to okay. give manually depending on that requirement okay so this is for okay. list of profiles that is generic and non-generic generic means connect designer operator report sector security admin topology admin version admin in how to assign profile to user means select and drag and drop select and drag okay. and drop how to remove a profile means go to your user profiles and drag and drop Mm -hmm. So if you go to here, you can right click, delete it. Yeah, okay. So one more thing, you can assign direct objects here. You can assign, mm -hmm. assign direct objects. For example, I want to assign profiles here. You can assign directly objects. See, mm -hmm. I have assigned object, but once you assign object, you cannot delete. Okay. So only you can remove the privileges. What are the privileges is there? See. Delete, duplicate, edit. Only you can remove the privileges, but you cannot remove profile, entire object. Okay. okay. 
object based it is not preferable it is not suggestible mm -hmm. okay why because if you have a 10 objects 10 objects you assign to one user again you want to remove the privileges how you can you cannot remove right so how you can remove the privileges means go to use each privilege and you have to deselect privileges go to each privilege and you have to deselect it you have a 20 objects 20 objects each object having five to six privileges if you want to deselect okay. everything, it is very difficult. Oh, yes. If you have 100 users, 100 users, you want to disable the privileges, again, it is very difficult, right? So that is, don't go for direct object based. Go for only profile based. Go for only profile based. Profile you can delete. See. Okay, profile only. Yeah, object based is not suggestible. You cannot delete directly objects. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is, the instances is nothing but your all your project folders everything will be displaying here once you start working on this everything you can see find whatever you have access that is okay okay instances is nothing but once you start working on this designer and topology everything all whatever you are created whatever you are created this user has created or working what are the projects you are working this project only one project and folders packages all these things you can see that is called instance okay whatever okay. this user having access that is called instance so this is the mm -hmm. okay so this is the privileges project you have a privileges on project you can delete okay mm -hmm. if I remove this all privileges I'm deleting all project privileges okay mm -hmm. like this this project you don't have access see That is called object wise, there are a list of objects you can see. Okay. For user wise, this is for user wise. That is called instances. Instances is nothing but whatever you have a privilege. Whatever you have a so, so once we start working on that, that time you will you, you will see all these objects. Okay. You can see mm -hmm. all these objects once you start working on that. That time you will come to know whatever privilege we have. So later I will show that this instances. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Profiles and objects you are clear with this, right? Yeah, yeah. The instances is nothing but whatever you are working on designer and topology. So once you start working on that, that time you will come to know object wise privileges. Okay. Okay. So currently we are assigning, this is main object level. So individual object level, if you want to go for, that is called instances. Okay. For example, there are 20 okay. variables available. If you want to give privileges for 20 variables, you can give direct variables. But out of 20 variables, you want to access only two variables, that is called instances. Okay. Okay. So I will show that later, once we start working on each object. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is for security. Security is very simple and very easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tomorrow we'll start with the topology. So one by one we'll go. Okay. If you have any doubts, okay. so you can ask me or you can ask me tomorrow also no problem. You can try to practice this. Then Yeah, can I get any material to make a practice for this? Yeah, I, I will, I will send that. I will send that. I will send it to another mail. To create the master repository and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I will send on this. Rather the past creation and no. everything else. So this is the same thing, everything you will you can see this. Okay. Okay. Uh all of our related to security. Okay. So this is the external authentication. That is right only right. If you are using it for WebLogic server while creating master repository, that time you will get okay. the same thing. So external authentication, third party integration. 
other than ODI, other than standalone, okay. we are going for that is called external authentication. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so I will send you all these things. So tomorrow we will continue. Okay. Sure. Sure. So,